Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogoy, I'm back with another quick insight and I'd shared this on one of our, on the, I think it's on my community page. Um, I promised that I would do like a quick review of these gloves. This is the Manas Quantum Gloves. I've done a pair, you know, a review of another pair that look like this, but this is a much newer pair. So let's take a quick look at what they look like inside. So this is a much different design from the one that I tested a while back. So as you can see, the way the glove is structured, you have like the fingers where the fingertips should be are not encased in any clothing. So you have like these uh, extensions and you have the connections to the, I guess the sensors up at the top, okay? Now, this is where the battery goes. This is the charger and you can also charge it using a usb cable right there and just plug it into your computer and for the extent suit this is where the you know the sensors go the neurons okay and this is what um, makes it really really work well with the extent suit the link suit uh the window suit so all all the extents like the, the new movella lineup works well with this and this particular glove also can be the data can be transmitted from the MVN Pro into iClone. So you can use Motion Live to be able to capture motion for the fingers. There's a, a plugin for iClone 8.3. So let me try this on. One thing that I'm curious about is uh, like how they fit and how easy it is for them to be, um, like for you to wear them. Um, now, I don't know if there are different sizes. This is the size that I received in this pair. So. There's a company that I'm working with right now that received this as a test kit. And so I, I took the opportunity to take a look at them and see how well they work. Now, something that I, I already can see, um, this right here for me, uh, compared to their previous build, looks like it may have some issues. And I'll point that out real quick, okay, shortly. But first, let me try to wear the gloves. I mean, I'll use my left hand as an example, all right? So there's a, a Velcro strap right here. So you just uh, put them in like this. And this feels snug, right? Feels very nice and snug. Okay. And then you can just uh, use a Velcro to strap that, tighten that, and this one also, okay? So my concern off the bat are these cables right here that connect the uh, sensors to the finger. Okay, so one thing that I can point out right off the bat is that you cannot have a talent that has long nails that will be able to wear these gloves. So if you have a female actor, or even if it could be a guy as well, if they have long nails, forget about using this because it will poke through right here <laughs> and break that. Now, they do provide spares for replacement, and I think they probably imagine this is going to be happening often. But watch this. So if you're, if you're doing this by yourself, and most of us who are indie filmmakers, chances are that you're working somewhere and you're putting this suit on by yourself, like if you're putting the extent suit on. So because these gloves don't work with, any other suit at least that I am aware of. I have, they don't work with the Perception Neuron, they don't work with Rococo. Rococo has their own set. And Perception Neuron Studio has their own set too. So let me try to wear this. So one thing that I'm noticing is that the ease with which I need to put this on and I'm, you have to line it up. So let me try again. All right. So now I've put on the finger right there and I'm not going to try to give you the finger, <laughs> excuse me. And this is just, a, I'm using my index finger. But look, so that is how you wear this. And already I feel like this, if you're sweating, like if you've been doing mock-up for <laughs> like a long session, these will become slippery and they will slide off. In fact, I saw a video somewhere, I think it was at Seagraph or maybe it was another event but i could see in the video one of these was off one of them they were only 
had only three fingers working because this had slipped off. And most people's pinkies are really small. So it looks like it's the same size for the pinky. And I would, I would have thought that maybe the pinky would be much smaller. But anyway, let me try this. And it's not easy to put it on. So I, I mean, I, I consider myself an expert when it comes to motion capture suits and I've used a number of them. But I can feel like, okay, so there's the pinky. I've put it on, but I feel it's already starting to loosen up. As I wiggle, I feel like there's movement, like it's starting to slide off. So I'm wondering when they were designing this, um, I, I, this is just me thinking out loud, guys, and this, this is just an op or like honest opinion. They should, I feel like they should have kept the cloth all the way. They should have just made the gloves fully because there's no reason really to just leave them independent because that would make it stick. So I wouldn't feel I have that issue of sliding off. And then they also make it, they would have, no, the reason they have to make spares is because they know people will probably damage these. But if you have a pair, it's much easier for you to put it on. And it's really, I'm struggling just to wear this and already see like as I'm putting this on this, it's like tilting like that. So that's a concern of mine for this particular pair. Now I've seen the data that's coming from these gloves and it looks amazing. And so that's a positive that these gloves are very accurate when it comes to like finger capture. And we know for animators, if you are trying to create more uh, like uh, animation for fingers and hands, it takes a lot of effort. And so when you're able to capture it using a glove, you're giving, at least you're almost like 70 to 85% all the way done and you just have to refine it. So there's the one for the thumb. And even as I'm wiggling this, I feel like it's starting to slide, right? So here I am. Now imagine if this had been just one glove, one unit, by now I'll already be done and I will be ready to do my mock-up session. But because these are individual pieces, I have to individually put the tips on, you know? Like when I wear the Perception Neuron Studio gloves, I just put it on and that's it. I don't have to worry about each individual finger, you know? So if I, like, if I'm during mock-up, if I even, like, hit the edge of something like that, it can slide off. So it is fairly snug, but I can feel, look, did you see that? You see how quickly that fell off? And when you're sweating, like if you're really doing like an intense motion capture session, that's what will happen. So my feedback to the Manas team is make this one unit so that the gloves don't have to slide off, right? And it will be much easier, first of all, for people who are using them to wear them and to like start their motion capture session. But overall, I mean, it looks like futuristic. I can see why maybe the marketing department or the design department went for this pair, this style. But I also feel like this was uh, a missed opportunity to just make this one unit. I'm almost tempted, like if I get this, if I buy this, I feel like I want to just get another glove and just swap out and put this <laughs> on, right? So there's good grip here, and there's a, I see they they are little. Um, this is I think they are, look this is for grip. I thought it was like hose, but not hose. But those are for grip. But these this is where the durability suffers right here. So the data is great, and I'm gonna show you on the screen how I was able to calibrate them, and you can see how the fingers are moving, right? It's really, really like good quality uh, mock-up. However, I feel the durability suffers. So when I'm playing guitar, for example, I am the previous gloves that I tested that I thought were, actually did a good job is that the fingertips were exposed and I could actually play, I could touch the fret on the guitar and I didn't have concern that this would snap off. Like, you, do you see that? Yeah, these are very delicate, even though they look like they have grip here, but because there's no support coming from the base of the gloves, it makes it less durable. It looks cool, 
it looks beautiful. <laughs> it looks futuristic, almost like like a robot hand or like an Android hand. However, at least from my experience using motion capture gloves, I feel like this is a disservice and that like a missed opportunity to really take a, a beautiful glove that has awesome mock-up data and make it less durable. So hopefully in the next version, I think I think I saw on their website, I saw a version where the the, the sensors are, are part of a, the extension of the glove that comes all the way here. And this is not the case. So I think that's the VR version of the, uh, the one that hep hepatic. I don't know how to say the word correctly. <laughs> hepatic. <laughs> like the ones I use for like virtual reality. This, that, those are the ones that uh, have a newer design. So please, guys, uh, at Minus Team, please consider putting the gloves, uh, like attaching this pack back to where it was before. This is good. Like it can give you more range of motion. And I suppose if you have longer fingers, I can see why this would be a benefit uh, for those of you who have larger hands and maybe a longer thumb, <laughs> right? And so that's that's my feedback. So this was, again, guys, this was just a quick review of the gloves. Um, this is without me wearing the motion capture suit. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that with a Xen suit so I can show you the full, like, effect. But overall, this is what you're going to get. If you do get these gloves, I'm just um, pointing out that, please, just remember, this is what you're going to be having, you have to contend with, right? They're beautiful gloves. But I do feel like they are not as durable. And these th these just fall off almost, right? Especially when you're in a hot climate or when you're sweating. So anyway, thank you for joining me, guys. Uh, that was a quick review of the, the these are quantum gloves from Manus right there. And uh, thank you for, I uh, guess, for... <laughs> Uh, staying along so you can hear some of my thoughts and uh, if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and as always dare to dream big may we always always keep our heads up and utilize this technology to tell to make awesome awesome stories uh something that else that i know is that removing them i'm almost uh, concerned that uh, this is gonna tear because it's kind of uh soft and so grabbing like when you're moving i think it's better to maybe grab the top over here and then slide it off because even after i've released everything it's still snug but yeah maybe have someone help you do that but if you're doing it by yourself just be careful so that is my review of the manus gloves they look really really cool though <laughs> And once I put on the the accent suit, I'll be able to share with you the, the data quality, which I know for sure from the examples that I've seen looks great. And as you can see on the screen, even the feedback from just the calibration part of it looks amazing. So Manus TM, this is an awesome product. And all I can point out is that uh, please consider reattaching these sensors back to a, a glove that is continuous all the way up. And because and also the open end makes that makes it uh, possible for people who have long nails. If you have a talent that has long nails, uh, they can still use the gloves. And uh, maybe I'll do a demo or a test to see if I can actually play guitar with this, and then I'll share with you the result. Thank you so much, guys, and stay blessed. As always, dare to dream big, and I'm constantly and always praying for you. Bye for now.